welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through and show the step-by-step -step of what I do to make myself a vellum pocket. So before we start, I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by a vellum pocket. So it's strictly exactly what it is. It is a pocket made out of vellum. So here's one that I made. So it has essentially four pieces of vellum, two that go back to back for the big pocket in the middle, and then two smaller pockets on both sides. So I'm gonna go through the step-by-step -step and show you how to do one because I am adding another one into my personal wide setup that I have. So let's go ahead and get started. So a couple of things that you're gonna need, at least the way that I do it. So obviously your pieces of vellum. So I've gone ahead already and chosen my designs and I've cut them down to size and done all of that for a personal wide. Other thing you're gonna need, you don't necessarily need it, but it is a um, just a cutting board, like a straight cut board, I don't know. But it helps you with cutting off the excess lamination after you're done as well as getting your original size for your vellum pieces. Uh, the last piece that I use is my laminator. So you see here, I use this Scotch brand laminator as well as the laminating sheets that go with it. Now, I went ahead and found these images on Pinterest. So the first image is actually this kind of neutral uh, Monstera leaf print. And then the other one that I found is actually a pink marble design. All right, so then these are the two designs that I will be using. So this here. So I made these, the two larger ones. And then what I did is I alternated the patterns. So I took a little piece of the Monstera one and I gave it a slit. And I'm going to use that as a pocket on this side with the pink marble. And then I'm going to do the exact opposite and use the smaller part of the pink marble here. And again, I slid it and I'm going to put it with the Monstera leaf part. So one thing that you can do if you are concerned with them moving around. So I know that this has to be one way. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if you're concerned with them moving around, you can definitely use double-sided tape to keep it in place. But, and like by double-sided tape, like I have this Scotch double-sided tape, it's a really heavy duty, extra strength one. But for the purposes of this video, I'm actually not gonna be using it. Sorry if you just heard that humming, I just turned down my laminating machine because it does take a while to kind of heat up. It is an older one, so it takes a little bit. So, like I was saying, you can double side like a little bit on the edge here or on the bottom to make sure that your pieces don't move while it's being laminated. But since this is the only pocket that I'm making, I can definitely just put this right up to the edge of the laminating sheet and I should be fine and good to go. So first off, before we get into the laminating, so this is actually the vellum that I use. And it's actually just from Amazon. I can't remember what the brand is, but it's literally just this frosted. It's not that thick, it's perfect. Um, it's worked for everything and it comes in like this humongous pack. So that is the vellum. And then I use these Scotch um, sleeves. These are the regular letter size sleeves here. So they have this edge at the, at the bottom, which is what I'm gonna put the bottom of my pocket towards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up the sleeve. So you see how this stays here. I'm gonna go ahead and stack this up, make sure it looks nice and perfect. And I'm going to, go ahead and put it right into the corner here. So you get to see I'm gonna line it up as much as I can into this corner spot, making sure that none of those pieces fall out of place. Okay, so you see that it doesn't move at all and everything is still pretty much lined up. 
So I'm just going to make sure again. All right, so again, I've just went ahead and I double checked to make sure that this is as far in the corner as it can be and that my pieces have not moved since I put them into the laminating sleeve. So I'm just gonna wait until my laminating machine finishes heating up and then we'll come back and finish. All right, so my laminating machine has finished heating up. It's now ready. So I'm just going to, again, triple check to make sure all my pieces are still aligned correctly. And then I'm just going to feed that into the laminating machine. So another tool I forgot to tell you guys about, um, again, it's not necessary for you to have it, but it does help a lot. So when you are doing the slits in your vellum, so after it's been laminated, after you've cut it down to size and you're making the slits to make the actual pockets, I use this um, kind of just straight edge here. And I think we got this from Home Depot or Lowe's and we were using it for, for something else, but it's an art knife. So you use that and it helps actually make the slits in the pocket. So by that, I mean, did I put it away? Oh. So when I was making the slits here to make this bottom pocket, I had to do my straight edge all the way across to make sure I could open it up. So I'm gonna do the same thing here after I go ahead and cut it out of the laminating. I'm gonna turn off my laminator and I'm going to move that all the way to the back of there. So first off, I'm going to grab my paper cutter here and I'm going to cut off all the excess that I don't need. So you gotta be careful not to get too close to the edge just because you don't want these sides opening up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this down and then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna get just slightly closer. So this top one though, I can definitely get as close as I want to because that is one of the openings that I do want. So if you can see here, I've gotten as close as I needed to and boom, I got myself one pocket already. So I'm gonna just cut off the excess on this side. So you gotta be careful because sometimes you don't always put it in perfectly. All right, so you don't wanna get too close and you don't wanna make sure that it's all lined up weird. Okay. So now let's go ahead and make these slits. So let me see. So let me turn on this light here. Let me see if this helps a little bit for you guys to see the slits. Okay, there we go. So I am going to take this. Now you gotta be careful because you don't want to go too hard or else you're gonna go through everything. So I'm going to slightly take this So what I like to do is I like to make that first mark here and then that way I can take this and go all the way up. There we go. There is one pocket. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Yeah. So the exact same thing here. So I'm going to make that little slit. Make sure that that's open and I'm going to take that all the way up. So you got to be careful because you are dealing with vellum so it may not be as easy to take out. All right, so I'm going to definitely go through and take these little bits off. Okay. All right, so there we go. I've now made a front pocket, a middle big pocket, and a back pocket. So I'm going to decide, let's see. Okay, so I want the marble with the monstera leaf pocket to be what I see first, and then when I flip it over, this is the back. So. First off, I'm going to get some scissors to cut this down just a little bit more. All right. 
So I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit more, trying again not to get too close to the edge because I do not want this opening up. Okay, good. So I am going to take this and I'm gonna make sure that it's lined up correctly and I'm gonna punch it. So there we go. So now I have this nice little setup here that's going to go directly into my uh, personal wide. So what I actually like to do, so if you see here, I did get a little too close to the edge, so I'm gonna actually turn my laminating machine back on and I'm going to reseal this. So this is the good part, I'm glad that this, this happened because as you can see, this is the part that goes with the rings. So I don't have to worry about anything actually falling out of the planner. So it's okay if you get too close here. If you wanted to, you could put a piece of tape here to make sure that it doesn't continue to open up. Or like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it back through the laminating machine and see if I can reseal it with what's left here. But again, that's okay, things happen, it's fine. So if it doesn't reseal, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because the rings are gonna keep it from completely opening up anyways. But yeah, so that is my lovely DIY video of a vellum pocket. So I will definitely show you that we have stickers that do fit here, which is perfect. And then I can put in this little deco sticker here, which you can still sort of see. And let's see, what else do I have here that I can add? Oh, I have a leftover from when I made my dividers. Maybe too big though. Yeah. So actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and cut this because I think I am gonna use this as a deco part right about here. And I think that would look beautiful as soon as I get this part laminated back down. But yeah, so Again, that was my video. If you guys liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my wonderful videos. Bye guys.